Portable battery packs are a great way to add a little extra power to your smartphones or tablets when you need it on the go. The problem is they come with a lot of confusing ports. Sometimes you have ones that are rated for different power allotments or they're just labeled Samsung or iPad. And does that mean that you can use them with different devices? In most cases it does. So we're gonna take a look at what each of these USB ports mean and what you should know about them when buying a mobile battery pack. If you're lucky, your battery will just list the amount of power each port provides in amps, like this one. Most smartphones require a minimum of 0.5 amps to charge, while some need one amp. Tablets often require a minimum of 1 amp and sometimes as much as 2.1 amps to charge. You can still plug in smartphones into these higher powered ports, in fact, they'll charge faster if you do. Other companies mark their ports by the name of the device you'll probably use with it. Apple and Samsung's power requirements tend to be a little bit different than your average USB device, which is why you see this happen. The manual should tell you the power each port provides, but you can make an educated guess based on how they're labeled iPad ports almost always provide 2 or 2.1 amps, so do Samsung ports, though some batteries offer 1.5 amps instead. Universal, Android, or phone ports typically provide 1 amp of power, though in some rare cases you'll see 0.5 amps. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Just get a battery that suits your needs by checking the power requirements of your devices and you should be good to go.